Can I have her too? <laughs> All the puppies in your hands. <laughs> what? What are you yeah, we're gone. We're gone. <laughs> There's so much going on here. Oh, no, yeah. I've got a little baby guitar one. Wow. Um, Take four of this one too. Yeah. Oh. He has caught up now. Do and um, No. Yeah, oh, Gallet, you had the dog, yeah. Well, she's got athletics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eat by my finger. You know the beautiful one. <laughs> oh, it is that filming? Oh, yeah. Oh, how many have you got in there? Three. Three, yeah. Uh, they all just keep wanting to hit on me. My neck is trying to get into my little face. Look at their little face. So beautiful. Majestic little creatures. I'm licking my neck. <laughs> This one's huge though, healthy. I'm up on my shoulder, look. Look at this fatty. The markings on them. Let just... <laughs> yeah. me hold them up, just look how big he is. Mm. Look at the big one. Mm. It's a man young boy. Man young boy. There's your puppies. The other day, I, um, I was looking out the window and across on the other side of the street, somebody was walking a, a white. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at these cool chickens. <laughs> Hello, I haven't met you two yet. Alright guys, check this out. <clears throat> Found a cave. Cave system in here. I don't think it's actually a cave, I think this is a tunnel. Anyway, what up dudes? We're out here. Hottest day of the year. It's about 66 at the moment, but it's predicting to hit 70. Fahrenheit, I'm not sure what that is in Celsius. Uh, I'm here with Jasper. Uh, it looks quite light on the camera, but it's quite dark in this tunnel. And uh, yeah, I don't know where it leads, so we'll find out together. Uh, in this area of the world that I live in, Snowdonia, North Wales, there's basically just a lot of slate quarries. That's, that was kind of the industry back in the day. And most of it's abandoned now, so check it out. Through to the other side. Cool. Protected now from the wind, so it's very quiet. Crazy abandoned buildings at the bottom. This place would have been so noisy back in the day. Just people everywhere hanging from ropes, like making explosions happen. I could probably bolder this. Probably. I don't think I even have the energy for that today, but uh, I could. Oh yeah, was there another tunnel? I've never explored this part of the of the quarry before. I know there's a lot of tunnels that they've locked up. So that's kind of why I haven't bothered looking. What is that? It's got wooden beams for a roof. It's just a round building. Weird. I don't know if you can see this, but if you look carefully, you can see a lot of metal. Just shrapnel come off like old industry buildings. Whatever was at the top either had an avalanche or they blew it up on purpose. And yeah, there's just debris everywhere. Crushed that building as well. Crazy. I'm higher than a helicopter. Cool. Not bad. Part about hiking these mountains that it's so windy that I can't really come up here to film. 
So I kind of just do it for fun, take some photographs. And uh, when we go down, I can do a bit more vlogging down there. Jasper needs to swim, he's just like overheating, there's no water up here. Fun little hike. We've only been up here for a couple of hours. I wouldn't recommend hiking a quarry or an abandoned quarry because there's so much just loose stuff. Everything is kind of balanced on top of each other and you can easily like um, move something, displace something and then fall or get crushed. So yeah, I don't recommend it. I mean, it's not that fun to walk on either. It's just a lot of pain, really. Anyway, we're gonna go down, swim in there. Underneath here, by the way, is uh, a power station. There's an electrical power station underneath. They push all the water from that lake up the mountain through pipes, and then uh, as it comes down, it generates electricity. Or something like that. I'm really not an expert. I've been in there once when I was younger, and uh, there's a lot of suspicious activity going on down there. Apparently there's just tunnels going for miles, so I believe it. They've had this place for a long time, they could have really built anything down there. And the power, power station is just like a front. And the quarry is also on top of it, so people don't really come in to explore. Just while we're up here, I want to show you guys some of these buildings. They're really interesting. This is one of the best ones, it's still quite intact. Wow, the wooden beams haven't been destroyed yet. There's just a layer of sheep poo though, this entire thing. Oh, it feels so gross. Ugh. All right, what we got here? Some New York machinery, how did that get to Wales? I don't know what any of this stuff is. I wish I was a historian and I could really explain, but I don't know. It's just very interesting to see old stuff. That, that is a conveyor belt. <laughs> what do you call those things? <laughs> That, I don't know what to call it. Ah, the layer of poop. <laughs> Pretty nice view. How you doing, Jess? All right, let's have a look, see. Wow, all this stuff is still here. They really just abandoned it. For whatever reason, they just kind of gave up. Just enormous pieces of machinery. Missing roof. Water tank. Giant slate wall at the back there, if you can see it. Very interesting, whatever it was, was probably very useful. I'm gonna get out of here now. So many leaves have fallen this past few days. This is kind of like the normal walk we do whenever I don't know where to go. We just come up here. Something that's probably not interesting, so I don't really talk about it very often, but uh, I think I'll mention it just because I'm doing like daily vlogs now. I need to get more open with just my thoughts because I'm thinking about it, I want to talk about it. Uh, sheep. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm surrounded by sheep all the time, usually. Yeah, now they've all been moved to the top of the mountain. So six months of the year, keeps them down here so you can look after them, like the cold months, and so you can breed them. All the females will be here with their lambs. And then when they're big enough, they go up the mountain and he doesn't have to worry about them then, they kind of roam free. Yeah, and then all these fields, they are grown to make hay, and then he uses that to feed them in winter. It's a never ending cycle. He's also farming that field down there. I'm not sure what he's gonna plant. I don't really know. I don't really understand the industry. I just kind of observe. Anyway, we come up here when the sheep aren't here and we get this whole place ourselves. It should be really long grass, but we haven't had any rain. Um, so the grass isn't growing, really. It's so unusual. It's a very hot year so far. And um, this week is predicted to be 60 plus. 
so 60 through 70 the whole week i hope it is i mean it's great weather for swimming and stuff i have a lot of editing to do this week so i'm gonna be indoors the most of the time what i'm gonna try and do is get my edits done first thing in the morning and then make sure that i film all day and then kind of crash at night go to bed early repeat uh, Casey Neistat, when he first started vlogging, that's the kind of routine that he had. He would vlog really early in the morning, before a jog, and uh, it seems to work out for him. He managed to get a daily vlog up for two years plus. For now, I have a bunch of edits to finish up. So when, um, when that sun goes behind that cloud, I'm going back indoors to finish my edits. There's a lot of old footage you guys haven't seen yet. And I'm kind of getting everything ready for uh, the hike in June. It's actually happening. I hope. I mean, there's more cars on the road now, but lockdown hasn't lifted. So I don't know if people are going to be able to travel from like different parts of the country to the starting location. I think I'm just I'm just frustrated. I'm just frustrated that I can't see people. Like, is it even is it selfish to say that? Like everyone is going through the same crap, but some people just live closer to other people. I live in Wales. I don't really have any friends here. No one that I could just like, reach out to or walk to. It's a couple people, sure, but even them, I feel, I feel like they're pushing me away. I don't, I don't feel drawn to anyone right now, and I just want to be with people that I feel comfortable with. And there's only a few people that I can really open up to, and when I'm not with them, I'm not really myself. I just want to have fun again, bro! This is frustrating! Anyway, I'm going to go home now and edit for the next, like, six hours. Uh. <laughs>